I think the biggest retail challenge for the rest of 2023 is going to be around standing out as a retailer. Coming out of the pandemic, the consumer is really going back and forth between shopping online, shopping in stores, and really choosing the right channel uh, for the specific category of purchase. Utilizing AI throughout our marketing. Retail media is going to be something that people are going to have to make bigger decisions on. Is it a golden market strategy or more of a test and learn? environment. The digitization of the experience is something that retailers have been focused on and finding a balance and striking that balance between what advertisers are looking for and the direct connection to the retailer. Rising inflation, right? Everything is a lot more expensive. So I'm curious to know how retailers are going to be navigating something that they ultimately don't have much control over right now. People are being much more conservative when it comes to spending on a day to day basis. So for brands with higher price points, trying to be really considerate about your promotional strategy at retail is going to be really, really important. As consumers look to get into the holiday season, some of the biggest trends will be around how people shop. I think there's going to be the continued kind of blending of the social space, with the traditional media space with the retail space. The behaviors of the customers between channels, stores, and digital. Really trying to develop that relationship with the customer, starting to really understand how can I better create better experiences? How can I have that one-to-one -one connection? so that they're actually familiar with my brand and they're ready to say, yeah, I want to rebuy. It's really important for brands, marketers, to try to understand their customers at a deeper level. Whether you are listening to what they're saying in social, interacting with them some way in your app or website, answering their comments online, getting in a dialogue with them over email or the customer service inbox, there's all different ways to make sure that they're really part of the process. To meet the consumer right where they are. Go into their communities, let them know that you hear them, you see them. I think in the past, several consumer demographics have been overlooked. Millennials, are certainly a key focus of brands and retailers. I think if you look at Gen Z and even Gen Alpha, they are um, in, the, in the role that social plays. TikTok in particular, social commerce. The tween demographic, I think they're rapidly growing into their own skincare routines and beauty. I see very young customers using Glow Recipe on TikTok all the time. I just wanna make sure that we as a brand are creating the right type of educational content to reach them. And then I think on the flip side, the older demographic is definitely one that we wanna make sure that every everyone feels spoken to as well. Gen X boomers, you know, these are people with expendable income and they are not being targeted in the same way that millennials and Gen Z are being targeted. Black and brown communities or audiences are, are overlooked, uh, both from an economic standpoint. People want to identify, not necessarily be talked at, I think these are all requirements of marketers going forward if we really want to convert and increase consideration with key cohorts of understanding. That's a big part of what we're doing here together at uh, Commerce Week is saying, all right, we know what we want to do in terms of serving all consumers in America. Let's take action together to make sure that they're actually served.